good day everyone we will discuss about data synchronization in asynchronous mode for always on availability group in this video let's get started this representation gives an overview of how the replication of transaction log blocks from the primary replica to a secondary replica works in an asynchronous mode the process is similar to synchronous mode except that the acknowledgement message for a successful commit is sent after the log blocks are persisted on the primary replica's transaction log. As far as this diagram is concerned, database server JBS AG1, which is hosted in region South India, acts as our primary replica, and database server JBS AG2, which is hosted in Central India region, acts as our secondary replica. We have an AG configured using asynchronous mode and is called AG1 between uh, primary replica JBS AG1 and secondary replica JBS AG2. Consider transaction one is doing some uh, write operations to the database that is present in the uh, primary replica, which is part of the availability group. In that case, what happens is that the primary replica will be generating transaction log blocks. The secondary replica initiates a request to the uh, primary re replica asking for log blocks to be shipped across. Primaries log cache is being filled with these kind of log blocks when, the, when these transactions are basically writing into the database uh, uh, within the primary replica. When the log cache becomes full or the primary replica issues a commit operation, the transaction log blocks from the log buffer are flushed to the disk to make it persistent. Since we are running in an always on availability group configuration, when the log cache is being flushed to the log disk on the primary replica, the same uh, log blocks also gets copied to the log pool. If all the secondary replicas are in an asynchronous availability mode, the success of this step is good enough to send an acknowledgement message of a successful commit back to the application when the IO to the transaction log is successfully executed. The log blocks in the log pool are read by a thread called uh, log capture. The log contents gets compressed and encrypted before being sent over to secondary replica. Things to note is like uh, this compression basically happens on an asynchronous replica. There is a thread called log receive that is running on the secondary replica. It receives the log blocks from the network and it starts writing to the log cache. While the log blocks are written uh, uh, to the log cache, there is a redo thread that is always running on the secondary replica. It is reading those log blocks and applying those changes to the data pages and index pages in the database on the secondary to bring it up to date with whatever has happened on the primary. While this is going on, the redo thread is applying those transaction log blocks and it is running independently of how log blocks are being generated on the secondary or being copied and persisted. If the redo thread is running few minutes behind, those log blocks may not be available in the log cache. In that case, it will basically pick up those log blocks from the log disk. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.